What's going on, Motor City Sports Talk family in the building? It's your boy CJ Goodfella. And I'm glad I held off on this lion practicing the cold video. I was going to do it a few hours ago. But um, ESPN released an article saying that, you know, <laughs> Lions practice outdoors in snow despite predictable game conditions. And it also says... <laughs> Leaves the players asking why they're outside practicing the cold when they don't play outside for another month. And, um, you know, they play indoors versus the Panthers, indoors on Thanksgiving versus Chicago. Then I think they play indoors versus the St. Louis, I mean, Los Angeles Rams, I believe, okay? Um, or something like that, all right? Play a month of games indoors. And this is the Patriot way, Okay. It seems like Matt Patricia doesn't have any authentic st coaching style. It's like everything he's doing is the Patriot way, okay? <laughs> and it ain't always the right way. Darius Slay, you know, basically, you know, questioned why they outside uh, and said if he was the coach, you'll know what they'd be doing. And I think, honestly, honestly, dog, I honestly think Matt Patricia is wearing on these players, dog. You know, I didn't believe it at first, and I didn't want to believe it, but I think this dude has, you know, it's just not authentic at all, okay? Everything he's doing is a carbon copy of what Bill Belichick did with New England, and that didn't work with none of the assistants that left there, all right? None of the assistants that left under Bill Belichick coaching tree has went on to have any success in the National Football League and really no real success on the college level. You know, does it matter whether the Lions practice indoors and outdoors? Probably really, I mean, probably it does, okay? It probably it probably will prepare them like Garrett Blunt said for Buffalo and games in Green Bay. But at this point, do you expect the boat the game in Buffalo and the game in Green Bay to mean anything? Do you expect that game to mean any only only implications that game's gonna have, those games gonna have, excuse me, are on draft position. All right, this, this I mean this guy don't have no don't seem from the outside looking in. Like I said, I'm not there every day. The way he answers, the way he treats the media is, is, is Bill Belichick like. Okay, you know the way he coaches is Bill Belichick like, and that ain't work for nobody else but Bill Belichick. And it ain't work for Bill Belichick. And let's keep it a hundred till he got a Tom Brady, because when he was in Cleveland, that ish didn't work. It didn't work. So at the end of the day, man, I ain't sure, man. I was in favor of giving this guy another chance, but like I said, right now. As we go on through the season, I'm pretty sure Matt Patricia is going to be public enemy number one or 1A, 1B with Matthew Stafford, okay? I really do believe that. I believe most people are going to be scratching their head on some of the decisions that he's making. And I already didn't want him as a head coach. Let me make that be clear. I didn't want this guy as a head coach, you know? I, I wanted, you know, Gary Kubiak. You know, to come here and run the offense at least. I wasn't in favor of Jim Bob Cooter um, staying here. That's when I was like, oh, hell no. You know what I'm saying? I was really not in favor of that. But I gave him a chance. I've been, I've been pro Patricia on my channel saying give him a chance. And, and, and he got to change the culture around here. And his scheme ain't going to work with the players they got. Okay? So, but at the end of the day, you know, does this really weigh – Weigh it in the factor with the players. Yeah, the players, like, man, I, I just don't, I just think he's too hard on the players, you know. And this is a, this is a, a grown man's league. And it's wearing on the players, man. I really do, I really do think he's wearing on the players with these tough practices. They came out sluggish. Now they outside practicing. Now they need to be tough. You know what I'm saying? The, you know, most people, you know, say the Lions should play outdoors. I ain't with that because I never go to a game. I'm just going to keep it a buck. I never go to the game that was outdoors, especially unless unless it was this messy weather. I prefer them playing the dome. It's just my personal opinion, my personal preference. I'm not an elements type of guy. But, you know, I guess this is preparing them for what it'll be like in the future. You know, when they in meaningful games in November, December, and hopefully January, and they gotta go outdoors and they, you know, do gotta do certain things. But what kills me is he wants to build an outdoor mentality, but they don't have an outdoor offense. They don't have an outdoor defense. When you're talking about a smash mouth football team, I said at the beginning of the year, the Lions need to become a smash mouth football team, an outdoor football team. They don't need to be built like a dome team. And you see the Saints make that transformation 
to Drew Brees running the ball more. Okay, they they hand the ball off. They more they got a team that's versatile. That's not just daily in the zone in 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 the dome, but they daily outside because how they can run the ball with Kamara and they can run the ball with Ingram. With the Lions, you practicing outdoors, but you can't even run the ball. You can't stop the run. Two things you need to do when you travel outdoors. They stop the run and run the ball, and they don't do neither one of them. So you can practice all day in the snow all you want to until the Lions figure out how to effectively run the ball and how to effectively stop the run. It ain't going to matter what, whether they practice indoors or outdoors. They don't have an outdoor mentality. No matter of fact, let me not say that. That's what they're building right here. They don't have an outdoor scheme. They don't have outdoor per, uh, personnel right now. They don't have that scheme. They can practice all, all day they want to. If they can't figure out how to run the ball effectively and how to stop the run, it won't matter if they practice indoors, outdoors, on Pluto, on Saturn, on Mars, and, and about it, nowhere, Asia, wherever they practice, it don't matter. They don't have the coaching, you know, or the schematics, the schemes to be an outdoor team. So he could practice them all day. This is torture for them right now because it don't matter if they practice indoors, or outdoors right now. If you can't run the ball and you can't stop the run, you will not be successful in November, December, and in January. Those are NFL facts. Those are facts about the NFL. And they don't have the personnel. And you got guys out there like Darius Slay who on a bum knee. You got guys out there who beat up like Matthew Stafford. You got guys who beat up like Kerryon Johnson, Gary Blunt out there in the cold for no reason. When we going to be in the dome for the next, for a next, for the next month. Okay, at the end of the day, I'm telling you, man, Matt Patricia is going to be one and done. Matt Patricia going to be, if he don't get it together, he's going to be in the pantheon of sorry lion coaches grace. He's going to be right there with 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 uh, Rod Marinelli, Marinelli, man. Okay, he's going to be right there with Rod Marinelli. I don't know what he's trying to prove or, or if he's trying to snap, uh, grab hold his nuts on, on, on Lions players and he's trying to prove something. But at the end of the day, this ain't going to bode well, man. Them already questioning them practicing outside. Either either or it don't matter. Lions ain't making the playoffs. This is just gonna be torture. It's gonna add insult to injury. They ain't gonna make it. It ain't gonna matter. They ain't gonna be in no meaningful games in December. So I don't I don't get it. But let me know what y'all think. Good uh, Motor City Sports Talk. We in the building. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We on all those social media sites. You can follow us. Whatever you know, like us on all them sites. You can DM me, video requests, whatever the business may be. You can email me as well. The instrumental to the uh, intro link is in the description as well. You also, want to make a donation to the channel. That's there as well. You can do me one better by sharing the videos and tweeting them out and uh, doing what you can to help us extend the Motor City Sports Talk brand. I definitely appreciate everybody that's been here since day one, two, three, four, five, but we gone.